Yeah, so madam, today, you can yeah, so today I'm going to uh, give some uh, explanation on optimizer and health check. So first coming to optimizer. So optimizer, uh, optimizer and uh, health check both are same, but uh, differences health check, uh, it will mainly check for the security settings. Whereas sales, whereas optimizer, it checks for all the company fields or all, all the fields. So optimizer, what our optimizer does is optimizer it analyzes features in interactive and actionable format, and it quickly identify issues that require immediate attention by using sortable list view. And optimizer it is introduced in uh, summer seventeen release. So it scans our entire organization, and it determines company use uh, and how it determines like how our company uses the field usage and limits triggers, page layouts, record types, validation rules, profiles, and sharing, and other Salesforce features. And then it suggests required customizations that to be performed. So uh, I can show you that uh, in, the, in the org. So I'm not able to go to other windows. How to go to other windows? Close this, uh, uh, that one, madam. Yeah. I'm not able to close this. You can you can minimize that uh, zoom below on the screen. Yeah, you can open another case. No problem. Well, so this is our arm. So first we go to setup. And then quick feel and in quick find we can search with optimizer. So this is optimizer. Okay, so first when we open the optimizer, uh, here we have to give the uh, access. So uh, actually I have already given access. So when we open the for the first time, we have to select button here uh, to provide the access. So as I have already uh, provided, it is not asking me to give the, uh, to allow the access again. So once we give the access and uh, here, this, uh, this is required. And uh, next uh, we can schedule the run. Like uh, uh, here I am saying monthly, but I have not scheduled anything. Now uh, we can schedule the run uh, based on some periods. And after that, we have to click on Open Optimizer. So once we click Open Optimizer, we have to click this Run Optimizer. So here it is showing, right? Optimizer is running. Uh, it can take up to 24 hours. So also we can, re we can refresh to check the status. And once it is done, uh, we'll get a mail also. So when I have performed this earlier, I have received a mail when it is done. We'll, we'll receive the email with the details. So now I'm refreshing. So it is showing uh, still, it, it is still running. So it, it can take up to 24 hours. So here we can see uh, like what are the actions we have to, actions required from our end. So here we can see the status like uh, which is immediate action, action, and some will be just review is required. Then uh, uh, no need of uh, taking any actions. Just we can uh, review those items. And the the first thing uh, we can see this is insecure default external access levels. Yeah, here it got open. So here, what is the description is? Uh, we have the default external level access set to public read or write. So uh, when when I have set, uh, set this default external access to public read or write, uh, like other external users can view and edit all the records. So this might cause some uh, security, uh, uh, like uh, uh, security, uh, or what I can say, this might cause some uh, security access levels. So this might cause some uh, data security rupture. So 
uh, we can take some actions if required. So uh, right now I am not taking any actions on this. So on next. Uh, you can open previous screen, man. In the same screen, you can see like which object is you are giving uh, external access for product object. Product, you are yes, giving. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, yeah. So generally, external means what is the meaning of external is like in a sales for something we have called communities, customer portals, all those things. So that people can do anything if you give read and write, correct? Right? Your products records they can modify if you give this access. So that is a uh, some issue. So it is uh, like identifying this is having some issue. Please revert the changes, or you can give read access, something like that. Yeah, madam, you can go ahead. Yeah, and I can also show the second one uh, for for understanding. So this is on multi-factor authentication. So it it is uh, showing in the last thirty days, two of your users having logged in using MFA at least once. So generally, we have multiple users, right? Here I have two users actually. So it is showing two of your users haven't logged in using MFA, multi-factor multi authentication. So I have not used uh, multi-factor authentication while logging in the last 30 days. So it is asking, so because uh, we have to use multi-factor authentication, uh, which is uh, which is better for us. Yes, it will provide more security for your more security. Mm. This is same like it OTP, is, madam. Whenever you are logging to the net banking, you will receive OTP, then once you receive OTP, then yes. only you are entering, right? Then it will open. So similarly, multi-factor authentication means it is one app in the Play Store, Salesforce app. There you can add your Salesforce or this or. So whenever you are logged in, it will ask permission. So this user is logged in, click approve. Whenever you are approving your mobile, then only it will log in. Otherwise, it will not log in. Like as we are using Salesforce organizer and we are directly logging into our org, uh, right. we are not using this multi-factor authentication. Uh, so for security purpose, it is better to go this, better to go with this option. Correct. So in a similar way, uh, we have other uh, items also, uh, which needs to be taken action. So you can see there are many items. Like actually here it is mentioned 55 items. And few items, it is status, status is no action required. So we can go to optimizer and we can check like, uh, is there any critical actions taken to opt uh, available to optimize that, to optimize our org. So, and uh, next coming to uh, health sick. So as I told you, health sick is also uh, similar to optimizer, but it uh, rates the overall security, security health. So health check is a tool that rates the overall security health of your org allowing users to identify vulnerabilities and monitor the effectiveness of their security settings. So a health check is uh, uh, like, uh, it's like maintaining their org security with a sales for health check. It's, um, it's similarly like a, a medical test, uh, doctors prescribe us, right? It's the same thing. Uh, sales, health, sales for health check prescribe for our org. And it is a dashboard where we can see the security settings in your org aligned to the settings recommended by Salesforce. Like here we can see the score, a score of zero to 100 is displayed. 100 being the most secure setting configuration. So based on our uh, security setup, score will be displayed. So if it is the maximum score is 100, if, it, if the score is 100, our, uh, that means our org is more secure. So depending on the security of our org, and uh, the one more is, uh, health, health check score is calculated by a formula that measures how well your security settings meet either the Salesforce baseline standard or your selected custom baseline. So uh, uh, what I can say is health, uh, health check score is calculated based on our security settings. The settings uh, uh, might be either uh, standard setting or can be our selected custom settings. And settings that meet or exceed compliance raise your score and settings at risk lower your score. That means settings at risk. If we are at risk, our score will be low. If uh, like uh, if, uh, if we have met all our security settings, then it will uh, raise our score. That means our score will be high. So this is the same screen for the optimizer, which I have just shown in ORC. Uh, next one is health check. Uh, so the similar way uh, we go to setup.
And in quick time, we can go for health check. So here I'm saying it is 74%. As it is just 74%, I'm saying it is good. I think if it is 100%, it might be excellent. Uh, so these are the, these are my uh, security items to take some actions. And here I can see how well does your org meet Salesforce security standards, reduce your security risk and limit data loss by, data loss by app, optimizing the areas below. So it's a similar to optimizer and we can uh, optimize these areas. So these are the uh, critical items I have to take actions on. So this for the, uh, to show you, I'm opening the first one and which is critical. So by clicking on edit, we can go to that. Sir, is this the correct screen? Yeah, man. You can just type click jack. Something you just type control F jack. Control F jack. J A C K. J A C K. Yeah. Click jack something. We have to enable it. Below they are in it, enable yeah. it. They're asking so yeah, visual sir. force for headers. Those two settings we have to enable. So that is what they are saying. These two, right? Enable clickjack protection for customer visual with the with with standard, standard headers. headers. And the other yes. one is with headers disabled. Correct, madam. So like uh, if we enable these two, uh, we can overcome those uh, overcome those uh, security, security vulnerables. Correct, madam. Okay. You can click back. There is one more easy example is there. You can show that one. Okay. Health check report. In the, it's beside tab, you know. That's all. Mm, there you can, if you want to understand easily, there is one thing called maximum invalid lag in atoms. Yeah, okay. So, so what, what they are giving yeah, is setting yeah. is, they are giving 10 invalid lag in atoms. It is not good. Maximum, in general, if you see Gmail or anything, if you enter your password three times wrong, what will happen, madam? Automatically you are? System will be locked out. Will be logged. Uh, but here, how many times they are giving maximum invalid login items here? Ten. Ten. That is not good. So that that they are saying, they are they are giving one maximum is they are giving option also. Which one you have to give three? That is the best option. Yeah. Uh, below, below, madam. Not that one. Maximum invalid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here it is ten. Mm. Maximum they are saying you should use a three, not more than ten, not uh, like a ten. Like here it applies based on the value we selected. Correct, right? ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Actually, here there is no limit option also, but it is better if we go for three only. Three, yeah. That's what. Yeah. That is what it's saying. Correct. Yes. So here so, it is all. It is showing all the password uh, uh, field uh, requirements, like a uh, complexity requirement, question requirement, and invalid login items, lockout effective period. So these are the password restrictions. And in a similar way, we have a few other uh, security items to take action. So these are the security items. Expired certificate, log sessions, all these. So the first set of the set setting, first set of security settings are high risk. And so these are sorted. So in the second list, we can see the medium risk. So uh, the first one I can tell you is I require a minimum one day password lifetime. So these are the few medium risks. So comes here next low risk. So informational security settings. So these are all uh, sorted. Sorted based on the uh, security status. So sir, that's all from my end. Any questions? So anyone have any questions, sir? Good, madam. Uh, your presentation is good, madam. It is very clear and uh, we can understand clearly the difference between optimizer and uh, tech. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the presentation. <laughs>